movie making. Our own custom swim bait. It's gonna be kind of a kind of a goofy one. It's not gonna be a normal traditional swim bait. I think I'm gonna be making a shark, maybe. Um, something like a shark. I don't know which shark yet. Um, once I get doing, once I get going with the clay, then I'll uh, I'll see what shark I want to do. First, open the clay, and then obviously we start carving away. After you carve, we'll make a silicone mold out of the clay. Well, after we bake the clay, get it hard enough, then we put it in the silicone or the silicone in it, and then makes the bait. Let's get right into it. So, I'm going to take the clay. And on, it sounds like someone's outside, but they're not. Unpackage it. If it wants to. There we go. By the way, never done this. At all. Where? There we go. So, and I don't need the direction. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a big enough piece. This can, okay, it can. Just a big enough piece for the for the for the swim bait for the model. You're gonna. Make sure this is clean. I'm gonna take, I don't know, about about that much. See that about that much. And then oh, oh this is not this is not gonna be fun. This is like clay but it's not and okay this uh this may require a hammer so now got the hammer and you just beat it down I'm gonna beat it down sort of flat so I can well ambulance just went by beat it down sort of flat why is it out of focus there we go Beat it down, sort of flat, flat enough to uh, beat, I don't know why this dang thing, there we go, get it down flat, flat enough, and then I'm going to try to mold it a little bit with my hands, and then I'm going to get into Bit of a little worm. If you you know you used to do with Play-Doh, get in a little worm. And I'm gonna get a little bit of that together. A little, a little something, you know. It doesn't look so uh, fish-like yet, but you know, we're hoping it comes out some sort of way. Once I once I get it in more of a uh, form shape, uh, I'll get back with y'all. The reference that I decided to go off of was this one right here. I need to make the body a little, I think a little kind of like triangular and then this part of the head where there's more of a ball is going to be smushed. And the mold what I want to do is make it kind of like uh, flat on the bottom and I want it to, I want you to open pour from the, from the, uh, 
you were to pour to hit the bottom, I want it to be the top where the fins would be. And the top of the mold, like this, the top of the mold would be the bottom of the bait. And the top of the bait would be the bottom of the mold. Like here. You just flip this around. That's basically what I want to do with it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to come back in a minute. After I kind of triangulate this and get this head smushed down a little bit more. So with this, just coming in, yeah, I flatten out the mold, kind of getting it more, oh, I'm too high, kind of getting it more, let me focus it, kind of getting it more like a, almost looks like salamander right now. But once I get that tail going, like a shark, I get the fins on there, and obviously the head. The head's not mostly done now, but it's flat. Trying to get this shape in here a little bit. And uh, I think it should be good. Now, I got to this shape about right here. Kind of looking, it's looking, it's looking all right. Just gotta fix up the head. Kind of gotta get it to come down here a bit. Maybe you gotta fill some, some in in here. It's a little lopsided with the material, but it ain't too bad. And when I get that uh, tail on it, and uh, pectoral, I need a pectoral fin. Need a little rear rear fin with the. He's all. They also got one right on their tail too. Um, and we won't worry about the mouth. We'll carve that in, get some detail in there. We don't need to make it too crazy. This is the first bait I've ever I've ever made with clay, so I'm trying to not make it too crazy. You know what I mean? Doesn't look too bad. Flatten the head. Kind of angle the body. See, kind of comes triangular. Not too shabby. I'm going to add the tail, the fin, two fin, two fin. I'll be right back. Now what I'm doing is making this. Ooh. Flattening that. Making it in a tail. It's got a little longer on top, shorter on the bottom. So I kind of got to get this one shorter, this one a little longer. Point it out. Stick it on. He's all the way over here. Stick it on him. And it won't look too shabby. So this is what I decided to go for, for the tail. So when you, the mold, be like this. So you pour in the tail, comes out like this, put a little, little bit on the back right here to kind of help it. I don't know how well that'll work. Um, and then the head, see it come, the body kind of comes up. I like that. I like the sh oop, I like the shape of it. I actually like it a lot so far. Now I got to put top fin, pictorial fin, and rear rear fins on, and it should be looking good. Now, what I've been doing is taking this hammer for the hammerhead shark, hitting this, taking it down flat, turn it into, ooh, almost dropped it, this. So I got one down, um, three more to go. Well, four more, need the top fin, one more pec fin, two of the little back rear fins, and work it. Now after, after we uh, got these fins together, let me focus it in. Now we got these fins together. I'm going to put it right about there. Another one. 
Well, obviously, we want to. Usually, you have a tool for this. I don't have one, but it just kind of smear it on, kind of like your. Oh, kind of like. Look, you can see just like pushing the clay in together, kind of smearing it. Then I'll put this one on the other side. I'll be looking good. Now, it's turned out to be pretty nice, pretty nice so far. Got to get the top fin on, rear fin, and uh, from there, I think it's ready for the oven almost. I think it's looking not too shabby, if you ask me. Now, taking this this little guy right here. Sticking it right on the back side of this uh, shark. Do two of them, of course, one on, one on both sides. And then all we need is one on top and a little one on the on the back on top. Now we should be good. Now this doesn't look too bad. Maybe a little more. No. A little more detail here and there, but I think this is I think this is pretty good. I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. I'm I'm happy with it. Um now let's go head over to the oven and let's get her cooking. Now Put it on here. Put the paper. And then gotta preheat this to what 212? Yeah. So let's bake. Two. Two oh. Come on. Two. One. Two. And then Put that in there. We're good. It's starting to rise. It's on the rise. Kind of, kind of goes up, goes up a little slow. Well, now it's not, but it was before. But once that hits 212, then throw this. In there for forgot how long it said, but I'll be right back with that answer. Okay, it's at 212 now, so I'm gonna open this up and then put that in there, I'm leaving for 20 minutes. Hopefully, it looks good. Get yourself an ice cold uh, beer, if if you're of age, of course. Helps you make uh, better baits. Proven fact, science uh, has uh, proven this. Helps you make better baits only if you are 21 years old. So, took it out of the oven. It's uh, feeling firm, feeling good. It's polymer clay, so I think it's a little wobbly, but it should not affect the silicone itself when we put it in the put it in the uh, cast or cast it in the silicone. It should not have any problems, make any problems, which is good, which is what we want. But I think it's looking pretty good. Huh? Time to take this back to the shop. So what I decided to do was make it out of this cardboard box 
Um, using, obviously using some of these, putting it up. I think it should be good enough for it. I mean, obviously not just going to use that piece. I'll probably use these side pieces as the long, long way. And then cut these down a little shorter so it's not as wide. But I think, it, uh, I think it'll be looking good soon. So what I'm going to do, cut this off, cut this off, and then one, two, off. And then I'll get right back, okay? Got the, got this done. Uh, got to put glue on the back so it sticks to the bottom. Once, it, once it's glued down, pour this in there, and we'll have ourselves a mold. There we go, glue down. Nice and easy. Now I'm gonna get two cups, pour equal parts of this in, and then pour it right in. Get a mold. works it's the next morning uh, did not think it was gonna go to the morning but I wanted to wait as long as possible for the mold to dry and it's dry so we're gonna take the cardboard off take the mold out and see how it looks And here it is. Just gotta clean up all the stuff that came over because it wasn't flush to the to the cardboard. It's probably the glue or something didn't make it too flush. But I'm just gonna trim this out and be right back.
there we go. So now that it's uh, that's out a bit, let me focus this in here. Now that it's a little more exposed, okay, a little bit more off. We can uh, we can start taking it out of the mold by just thinking there's a little more right here. Now. Just getting this little. There we go. No. There might be some. Breakage. Which is fine. You can always glue that back together. And there's a little bit stuck in there, which I could probably just get with oh, my fingers. There we go. And this is what the mold looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Now, what I'm doing, let's see, you can see. I'm using the yellow color from this. Oh, let's see if it focuses. I'm using the yellow color from the white, there we go. From this, I'm using this yellow color on the mold over here. Focus, thank you. I'm using the yellow color in this, going to try it out with one single color. And then, after, hmm, after the color, after I test it out, see if it works, see how well it does, then I'll uh, take maybe some gray and white and make a little actual, like an actual hammerhead color. I think it'll look pretty cool. We'll get right back to you. It's poor Tom. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna bring it over here. Set you all up over here. Right where the mold is. We'll get to porn. We'll see how it turns out. And now, I think it's dry enough to take out. This is. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see. Let's see how it looks when we take it out. Okay. Okay. Now that that doesn't look too bad. Wow. I'd say that that's close to perfect. Jeez. Can't lie, I did a pretty good job with the mold. Look at that. Wow. Kind of just in shock. Just staring at it in shock. I like that. That came out a hundred times better than I thought it would. The fin. It's a little lump on the back, but not bad. But that. That's a hammerhead shark. We'll do another one. Um. I may do 
black or gray on top and white on the bottom. See how that turns out. Here's something a little, uh, a little extra. I was thinking of making like a long earthworm. I think it'd be funny. And then just a little like stickworm Sanko. I'm not done with that yet. And then not done with this one. I just want to make like a swim bait. Um, I wanted to add some eyes on it. Uh, maybe some gills probably too. But then there's Big Boy. This proud of that one. This earthworm's gonna be fun. It's just gonna be funny. Pretty long too. Um, I think this is like about five inches. So this is uh, it's a little longer. And then this is around five inches, and this is around four, probably four, four, four and some change. But yeah, thought it'd be fun to show y'all what I do when I get bored in the morning. So right here, um, I decided that I wanted to do the black on top, more of a gray, and white on the bottom. So right now I'm just getting the the gray together, shaking the plastic. Um, but after after that, I'm gonna pour it in. I pour both the cups uh, and gonna mix the colors in after I heat the plastic, and we'll see how this one turns out. I'm hoping it turns out pretty cool. Um, it's a little hard to merge two colors together in a silicone mold because you can't really heat the mold and bond the two two colors. But I'm gonna use the heat gun, see if I can get as a get as a uh, bond as I possibly can. So uh, we'll be right back with you and uh, see how it turns out. <laughs> 